Okay, we're back. Good. Set to test something. Thank you for your patience. Ooh. Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. Damn, yuppies. Hi. I'm right here. What? Let's see who has the last laps. Okay. Good day to you too. I, I, I'm, I'm standing by the guy. What's the problem? Come on, Killjoy. For me, please, pretty please. I'll make it up to you later on. Oh, this guy. Oh. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? Uh, I thought you saw the other guy, Vec. You have a lovely wife. If you don't mind me saying it. I'm Pat Main, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but... I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. I, you can trust me to be this year. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Thanks, dude. Um, by the way, what are you holding? <laughs> Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. Yeah? Hey, bestseller. How's my favorite writer? Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got here. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry. We're fine. Great. Great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? <laughs> okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you, too. <laughs> Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. There you go. So that was a mistake. I can't go for that guy. diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's Stuckey. He was the guy in the uh, nightmare. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. Alan. Thank you for coming here with me. I love you too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. Aww. Hey. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan, wake. Oh, God! I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Oh, of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> and you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Dude, uh, and the main character is sort of a dick. Try the coffee. Just don't blame me when you fall in love, because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty here is no longer human. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. Yeah, that makes two of us. Uh, uh, how can I try the coffee? Are you staying long, Mr. Wake? I can't believe it. I'm having a conversation with Alan Wake. 
Yeah, you're not having a conversation because you won't do it. Are so. you on your own, or is your wife with you? I can show you the town if you want. I get off work at six. <laughs> Thanks, Rose. We'll be sure to keep that in mind. <laughs> do me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut, number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. <laughs> Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ah, it does that. Get stuck. Yeah. You need to give it a good solid whack. Nice. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yes. This is it. I've died and gone to hell. <laughs> oh my god, this is awesome. This was killing it. <laughs> Ma'am? Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. Yeah. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky. To get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. <laughs> Hello? Mr. Stucky? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Um. Thanks. Creepy. Do I know you even? I don't Aldrin like the... Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. I... I don't like the way you keep looking at me. I'm just gonna keep going. I'll see you later, maybe? You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. This really ought to be fixed. And then I must remind Sarah to change the lights at the station. It's been too long already. Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you alright? <laughs> Splendid, splendid! <laughs> Damn hernia! It swells up like a balloon if I lift anything heavier than a spoon. Yeah, splendid, splendid! It's been a long time gone. Good to see you. Hey, you wouldn't have to have a bottle on you, would you, Tom? I wish. <laughs> Andersons. They're uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Okay. Got that there is some more? No? I'll be heading back to work as soon as Dr. Hartman gets here, Rose. Oh, but I'm not looking forward to the poison we have at the park cafe. Bye, Mr. Wake. Later. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! Oh, shit. Oh, look, he got hit. Like, he got knocked that out. Diner was a real nut house. Oh, shit. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Batman here on PBF FM. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer. But that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years. Not since my last book. Mmm. Clear night, 
stars winking down at you. It gets pretty dark out here, but they'll light your way. Nice. This looks so beautiful, dude. Wow. Of... It's gorgeous, Alan. Mm -hmm. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. I'm just I'm surprised at how beautiful this game looks. I never played on my um my current computer, so uh these graphics look really nice. We come on, gotcha. It's dark in there. We need lights. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? Mm -hmm. Hello? Um, Anyone here? Yeah, her footsteps. I thought it was her. The cabin looked like a time capsule from the 60s, or even earlier. 1970. Mm -hmm. For a moment, the oppressive feel of the nightmare I had seen on the ferry returned. <laughs> Not cool. Damn. Interesting. I needed to get the power running in the cabin. There had to be a fuse box or a generator somewhere on the island. Okay, so... It's the same that I need to go outside. The Deerfest guests have already started to arrive. Just ran into one on the ferry. A famous artist, no less. But we'll see if we can rope him into an interview later on. Now, let's uh, go to the phones. Call her. You're on KBF FM. Hi, Pat. It's Rose. Why, hello, Rose. What's on your mind? I know who that famous artist was. It was Alan Wake, wasn't it? Uh. <laughs> well, Rose, I... I just saw him at the diner. Oh, I am so excited he's here. I'm sure he's glad to be here, too. Well, folks, I guess the secret's out. The power cable goes to that shed over there. Thank you. <laughs> An old generator had been connected to the power cable. Nice. The lights are on. Good work, honey. I'll freshen up a bit and start settling in. Okay. I'll look around a bit. The island sure had once been the Come site on. for a love story. Maybe it would be that a hmm. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. No. And now the evening has come. Let's see. There's a shed here. I mean, it's our basement thingy here. And Teresh Jom. Let's uh, head inside. Alice? Honey? Mm -mm. A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. Okay. That might be important for later. Let's go look around for a little bit just in case I need clues. I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. Ooh, are you naked? Well, hello there. I'm not the surprise. 
It's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> okay. Damn it. You I, I mean, I was excited. Look at you. And, and you just do this to me. <sighs> it's a typewriter. Surprise. Alice? What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past- Damn, Alice, you, everyone- Hey, keeps... hey, hey, just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe... So now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not- The fuck? Alan? Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. This old lady is really creepy. <sighs> damn it. <sighs> Alice? Gone dark. All the lights were out. The fuck happened? Alan, where are you? Help! Birds. Oh shit! This is hurt. What the hell? Fuck did I get here? Waking up in the crashed car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. I the fuck? How I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. The fuck happened? Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma. By a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it. And I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. <laughs> Holy shit. What the fuck? How did I get here? Anyway, uh, let's get moving. The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. I guess that's where our goal is. And there goes my car. Of course. <laughs> hello? Oh, hello. It's the light again. Hello? Someone there? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. Interesting. <laughs> 